Having seen the conventionally shaped GLE class SUV previously, the evolutionary styling update isn't really a surprise. A nip tuck to the headlamps and a bolder lower fascia are the eye-catching differences. The sloping rear clip is where things obviously differ for the GLE Coupe, which gets its own taillights mounted in rounded quarter panels. It also gets a unique rear fascia to accommodate the different rear hatch. Though the lowermost portion with the trapezoid exhaust outlets mirrors what you find on the GLE SUV, the interior also matches up, save for the reduced headroom and cargo capacity in the rear. The GLE 53 Coupe doesn't offer any surprises under the hood either. It makes use of the same 429 horsepower 3.0 liter turbocharged i6 revealed earlier this year in the GLE 53 SUV. It's a mild hybrid setup, utilizing Mercedes EQ Boost starter generator to both power onboard equipment and to supply the wheels with an extra 21 horsepower for short periods. All four wheels are driven with shifting duties handled by the AMG's TCT 9-speed automatic. Compared to the current Mercedes AMG GLE 43 and its 385 horsepower engine, the new GLE Coupe amps up performance quite a bit. Mercedes tells us the Coupe hits 60 miles per hour in 5.2 seconds and maxes out governor limited 155 miles per hour. Of course, the new GLE 53 gets the full Mercedes digital makeover inside, including the latest M-Box infotainment setup with AMG specific displays. Pricing and availability haven't been released yet. Mercedes says the new GLE Coupe is a 2021 model, so we expect it to hit the dealerships early to mid-2020.